Hello, everyone. Today, I want to talk about what I believe is an infection in the body of Christ that's making it weak, anemic, and prone to any kind of spiritual disease. It is an infection I'm calling biblical illiteracy. The fact that too many Christians do not know their Bible, don't read it. Now, don't say, oh, yeah, I read it. I'm not talking about a few verses here and there throughout your life. I mean plunging in the depth of it. I mean reading the fullness from Genesis to Revelation so many times you know some of them by heart without having to memorize them. Because of this infection, it means millions, millions of believers are listening to pastors and pastorists take passages of the Bible, say a bunch of weird things about it, and nobody bats an eye, nobody cares, nobody realizes what's going on because they don't know the word. It's a serious infection. It leads so many to believe that because they're not experiencing stuff from God, like the pastor says I should, that, they, that God is far from them. That God may be against them. Maybe they have sinned somehow. Because they don't know what God actually says about his relationship with us through the Son, with the Spirit. They let other people tell them so. We need to be in the Word. To go through it. Every book, none of them is useless because all of it is God talking to us. None of the words, none of the lists, none of the people, nothing is to be pushed aside and say that's not important. Everything reveals a very person of God. And more we engulf ourselves in that, more we feed on this true and living manner, and more we will grow in the knowledge of our God and be able to recognize the sicknesses and the lies and the tricks played around us. So I encourage you. I'm not chising you. I'm encouraging you. Read the Bible. Beginning to end. Genesis to Revelation. Over and over again. All of them. Connect the old with the new. Go to reading plans that show you how to understand the old through the new. And you will be enriched. Be on imagination. You want to experience God? You'll find him in his word. I know, brothers and sisters. Be blessed.